Good afternoon, 47. Your target is notorious magician and hypnotist Basil Carnaby. In the 1960s, Carnaby attracted the rebellious youth of London's upper class to his side with his own brand of pseudo-mysticism. He would then hypnotize them and order them to rob their wealthy families on his behalf. He stole millions entirely by proxy. By the time the police finally caught on, Carnaby had absconded to Nepal with a group of spiritualist pilgrims and subsequently disappeared. However, one of his old victims recently recognized a well-aged Carnaby doing a mentalist act for the locals on the streets of Mumbai. Having obtained a life of comfortable obscurity, it seems he just can't keep his hands out of other people's pockets. Good luck, 47. Hello, hello. And welcome back to Hitman 2 and the Illusions of Grandeur special assignment set in my Mumbai, not Miami. And today we will be taking care of the Keep Calm and Explode challenge, which entails killing our target with an explosion. And for this we will also somehow manage to get ourselves the Someone Could Hurt Themselves challenge for eliminating one of our targets in a accident and this explosion is somehow classed as an accident more than the tasteless traceless challenge so for this one the only thing we need to be bringing with us will be our, our ever trusty lockpick So, right from the start, off the bat, what we're going to do is run straight at the slums building, right down the middle of the road, until we get to the junction, where we will turn right and make our way around to the side of the building, where we will find ourselves a stairwell. We're going to climb the stairs and make our way along the balcony to the very end, where we will find a locked door. And we're going to lockpick our way through that door, making sure that the guard out on the inside here is not looking. And if he's not, we're going to make our way through the door and to our left and up the stairs. And then lockpick our way through the door directly ahead of us at the top of the stairs. Uh, in here we will find ourselves a small flat with an iron on the counter. And we are going to collect that iron and we're going to hide ourselves behind this chair which is currently occupied. So we're just going to wait for the occupant to stand up and the second they stand up and we get a lock on them we are going to throw our iron at the back of their head. And with that now taken care of we're going to collect our iron, we're going to collect up our fresh body and we're going to hide him in the wardrobe at the back of the room here. Now, you don't really need to do this, but I do like to take that guy out. You can just sneak straight through this room and out the window like I'm doing now. So what we need to do is get into the flat opposite this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the balcony and scoot along and back up the other side. But we do need to wait for the guy on the other side here to move off. And there is a guy on the floor below who's already moved away. We do have to wait for both of them. So once the guy moves away, we can get back up onto the balcony, make our way down to the door at the end of the corridor here. And we're just going to wait again for the occupant in this room, who is a bodyguard, to move into his next position, which will have him with his back to us. And uh, don't worry if he's already in this position and you want to wait his next position is by the window and with also his back to us. But once he's in position we can lockpick our way through the door, knock the guy out, we're going to take his gun, hide his body in the crate provided, or the cupboard provided. We will also take this guy's outfit as well. And you'll notice in the corner of the room in this flat there is a gas cylinder. So we're going to take one quick shot of that with our silence pistol so that that starts leaking. We're going to put on the bodyguard's outfit just so we can be seen with a gun in our hand. And we're going to vault out the window onto the balcony here. So everything is now in place. All we have to do now is wait for our target to arrive. 
he's got a, a fairly longish routine. He goes downstairs and then upstairs and then to his apartment and then to this apartment, which I'm assuming is actually his apartment. Uh, I don't know why he went into the other one and evicted someone. But eventually he will make his way to this apartment. So we're going to be using instinct and we can see him coming and the second he opens the door to enter this apartment we will then blow up the gas cylinder so here he comes now so as soon as he opens the door we're going to take a shot at the cylinder and kill our target is Basil Carnaby and it seems he's made himself quite at home here no but target Diana. eliminated Looks like no one else needs to worry about falling under Basil Carnaby's spell. Take a bow, 47. Basil isn't here anymore. So with the explosion now in place, our target is dead. We are wearing the perfect disguise to just walk straight down the stairs and out the front door. Everybody else will be running to the apartment. So we're pretty much free to just saunter straight out the front door here we're gonna hang a left once we exit the building and we're gonna run away as quickly as possible to the nearest exit so there you go that is the uh, keep calm and explode challenge and the someone can hurt themselves challenges both taken care of I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video